Enormous challenges, such as the energy transition, require a gigantic use of materials. With its large fleet of telescopic and crawler cranes, self-propelled transporters and heavy-duty transports, Style Kronerbyten is supporting the construction of two wind turbines in Luxembourg. Up to four cranes are used simultaneously on this construction site, including a giant, the Demag CC3800. With its technology specially designed for wind power plants, the Demag is powerful enough to lift wind turbines up to 165 meters. To transport all the individual parts of the crawler crane to the site, over 70 transportations are required, some of which are oversized heavy-duty transports. In this film, we show the four-day crane assembly. First, the mobile crane is transported to the site, in this case a 230 tons Liebherr telescopic crane. The mobile crane is ready for use in less than half an hour. The counterweight is transported separately so that the maximum permitted axle load of 12 tons is not exceeded. The first ballast weights for the crawler crane are delivered, straight after the Liebherr LTM 1230 has been assembled. The lattice crane assembly begins with the assembly of the superstructure on the center section and the attachment of the two crawler undercarriages equipped with Quattro Drive. The central crane unit and the crawler tracks have already been delivered and assembled. The lattice crane is assembled in parallel with the wind turbine. All work is coordinated to avoid any downtime. The second day starts in the morning with the assembly of the central ballast. The crawler lattice crane moves on a bed of special hardwood mats. This distributes its weight over a larger area. Now the walkways around the crane superstructure are assembled. The employees are in constant radio contact during the assembly. The permanent and direct exchange of information is the basis for maximum work safety. Next, the parts of the superlift are delivered. The superlift, also known as the counter jib, is one of the core elements of the demag. With the assembly of the headpiece, the superlift reaches a total height of 42 meters. The pulleys at the top guide the steel cable that lifts the main boom into the air. The demag has already reached a considerable size. The main boom consists of 16 lattice sections, which are assembled to a total length of over 160 meters. Nine of these lattice sections, known as boom booster sections, have a transport width of 3.5 meters. Dexterity is required when connecting the main boom to the counter jib. This temporary connection enables the crane to correct the direction of the main boom.
Every half hour, one lattice section is delivered and installed according to the assembly instructions. The heavy bolts are brought into position with a hydraulic press and secured with a split pin. Once the main boom has reached a certain length, it is connected to the jib at its final position. With these dimensions, the mobile crane must change position several times. Working at height involves a number of dangers, so the fitter must always be connected to the safety line. Teamwork and awareness are essential to carry out this work. Hardwood mats are stacked to form a bearing where the main boom rests during assembly. The last two lattice sections of the main boom are delivered. The crane is completed with a folding LF jib. This forms the highest point of the crane at around 180 meters. Last but not least, the area behind the crane has to be prepared for lifting. The hydraulically controllable adjustment frame connects the crane with the required ballast and thus keeps the machine balanced during lifting. A gigantic counterweight of 375 tons of suspended ballast is required for lifting. The suspended ballast consists of up to 36 counterweights, each weighing 10 tons. These are stacked on the ballast frame according to specifications. The final work step before the crane is raised is the reeving of the hook block. To do this, a small auxiliary winch is used to pull the crane's rope through the corresponding rollers. The crane hook equipped with two sets of pulleys must be configured in such a way that it has sufficient load capacity. Before the large crawler crane can be put into operation, all safety relevant components are checked on site by the steel team leader and confirmed by an external expert. Now the process of lifting begins. Meanwhile, the superlift counterweight is actually suspended behind the crane.
If you would like to find out more about Steel Cronerbyten, please visit their website, Facebook, or Instagram page. There you will find more information about the job and training program.